Let's imagine a strange global event. One sunny Saturday afternoon, every single person on Earth, all 8 billion of us, goes outside, stretches a little, and gets ready to jump. On the count of three, everyone leaps into the air at the exact same moment. One, two, three, jump. And then what? Would the Earth tremble beneath us? Would it knock the planet off its orbit? Would we trigger global earthquakes? or finally knock Australia upside down beneath us? Would it knock the planet off its orbit? Would we trigger global earthquakes or finally knock Australia upside down? Let's break it down. First, how much do we weigh combined? The average human weighs about 62 kilograms. Multiply that by 8 billion people and together, we weigh just under 500 million tons. Sounds impressive until you compare it to the Earth, which weighs about 6 billion tons. That's like a bug trying to push a bowling ball. But okay, we're not trying to move the planet with weight. We're going for impact. What if we all jumped high and landed at the same time? The average person can jump about 0.3 meters off the ground. When we land, all our collective force hits the Earth. That's 8 billion mini earthquakes, right? Kind of but not really. In reality, the energy from our landing would spread out instantly, absorbed by the ground beneath us. You might hear a faint rumble if you're nearby, but that's about it. No tectonic shift, no cities collapsing. The earth barely even notices. But let's pretend we all gathered in one place. Not just jumping around the world, we're packed together in one giant mega field. Maybe Kansas. Sorry, Kansas. Now that's a bit different. The force would be more concentrated, and local seismographs might actually detect a spike. Some windows might rattle, birds might panic, a few cows might look annoyed. But again, the planet shrugs it off like it's nothing. So no, Earth won't budge. But here's something interesting. We might. Remember Newton's third law? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If we all jump up at once, Earth gets a tiny push in the opposite direction. Theoretically, Earth would move away from us by a fraction of an atom's width, and we'd move up together as humanity's shortest space mission. Then gravity brings us back down, we all land, and Earth returns to its original spot. So the net effect? Zero. But wait, what if we time it perfectly? Say we all jump when the moon is directly overhead. Could we use our jump to cancel the tides? Nope. The moon's pull is far more powerful than our hops. Nice try, though. Could we use the synchronized landing as a power source? Actually, maybe. 